Well, for more on this controversial law, I spoke to the former parliamentary secretary to the president of Georgia and leader of a Georgian political party for the people, Anna Delitze. Anna Delitze, thank you very much for being with us here on BBC News. So we know that the president has now vetoed the law. Do you think that will do anything? Do you think that will concretely stop it? Or do you think instead that the governing party will essentially overturn the veto? Well, this is a very important step from the president as it opens up a window, perhaps a final window this spring for the government to change its mind and to change the course to withdraw the bill or to amend it, or rather to withdraw it, or to postpone its adoption. Um, however, I'm quite skeptical that the government will do it, considering that I am convinced, as my, very uh, many of my colleagues, that this is part of a larger geopolitical turn. It's no longer about only this law, only curbing Western uh, grant funding. It's rather a, a wider geopolitical turn that moves Georgia from our historic orientation towards West, uh, towards Russia. And so watching this, what do you think the protesters will be making all of this? You've been at the protests, you've been speaking to people. Do you think this will calm them? Or do you think that they will continue to have that skepticism that you've just expressed? Yes, we have to say it's the 38th day of peaceful protest, and I'm incredibly proud of, of Georgian people. I think this a level of resilience and determination was a great surprise also for the government itself. I don't think they expected this kind of commitment and spirit. And the spirit of protest is just amazing. It's a big celebration of Georgian national identity. I think the protest will continue because this is not only something geopolitical or technical for people. It resonates with the with Georgian annexation in 1921 when Georgia became part of the Soviet Union. It resonates with the trauma of losing Georgian national identity. It really is a new national liberation movement. So I think it will continue. It might transform. It might be more fragmented, but finally it will culminate in the uh, October parliamentary elections of October 2024. I want to read you a quote from uh, the EU chief, Charles Michel, who said on Saturday that Georgia gained a moment for further reflection after the veto. Are you concerned that what has happened that has garnered could actually put the brakes on membership of the European Union? It's absolutely black on white, unfortunately. That's why this is not only about curbing NGOs. It really puts a stop, a major uh, obstacle towards Georgia's approximation towards the European Union. We, This has been said many times from the highest levels from the EU. And this is what Georgian people think they're losing. They're losing their chance for better welfare, for better standards of life, for more safety, more security, all of these things that EU is associated with in Georgia. Unfortunately, this is the case. The risks are high here. So therefore, I think the government should take further time to contemplate what kind of damage it incurring to, it's, it's incurring to the Georgian population. I also want to get your assessment of what you think Moscow will be making of this situation playing out a particularly tense time and of course you know as you mentioned many Georgians they have still fresh in their memory what happened in 2008 as well what do you think the Kremlin will be making of this uh, definitely this is another uh, instance of uh, Russia flexing its muscles to the West this issue is not local it's not even Caucasus related it's regional Russia uh, pulls its strings and flex its muscles in its neighborhood or the area that it considers its neighborhood. And definitely this move is a, a part of hybrid warfare that Russia conducts against sovereign republics that have long announced its willingness to be independent from, from the Russian influence. There's a big chance that this the escalation of conflict, protest and uh, instability in Georgia will be used by Russia as one of the bargaining chips vis-a-vis -vis the West. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much.